Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Uh, skin's almost back to normal, so I'm going to be uh, growing the beard back starting tomorrow. One more day of moisturizing. One of the things that I find most amusing about YouTube is uh, when I stumble upon a video and it starts off with the person saying, I hate drama. More often than not, it's being said by people who are constantly involved in it. And even though I haven't yet got involved much in that, uh, I enjoy watching many of you. See, YouTube serves many purposes. Uh, some of them have been absolutely amazing. You know, um, YouTube videos have exposed when police reports have been false all of a sudden there's a YouTube video up that shows that the cops are not telling the truth and YouTube videos have exposed how brutal and evil dictators are all around the world And politicians get caught in lies because people post YouTube videos showing them talking out of both sides of their mouth. Performers get national showcases for their talent. And I uh, have been trying to create a political movement here on YouTube called Fair Share. I'll talk about that a little bit more later on. But I think one of the most important things that YouTube does is it allows people to fulfill their need to, to engage in drama and it doesn't have any effect on their personal lives in the real world. It kind of acts as an outlet. I'll bet that there have been relationships that have been saved because drama that would have gone on in real life is now transferred to YouTube and the relationship itself is more peaceful. Now, but some people who would be very self-destructive in the real world now get to be to, to be the same thing on YouTube but it allows their personal lives to be more positive. But here's the thing you all should admit. It's fun. And to me, that's like the best purpose of YouTube. Have fun. And, and uh, I mean, I get to watch incredibly smart people and creative people uh, do brilliant things on, on YouTube and, and, and talk about their ideas and stuff like that and that's great but sometimes when I'm in the mood for it I get to watch drama and drama is such an important part of YouTube that it's even organized sometimes you have events like the Ponage Olympics where people are encouraged to rip into each other and even give them prizes for it and don't pretend that some of you aren't secretly gleeful every time you get a chance to go after Inventor Gorilla or Venom Fang X or, or Nephrim, whatever the hell he is. Right? I mean, if these guys didn't exist, you would have had to create them. So do your thing and have lots of fun. Just don't pretend you're not. And there's another thing you could do that would be appreciated. 
see sometimes I stumble on a video and there's an assumption that the viewer knows what's going on well a lot of times they don't now some of you have long histories with each other and it's difficult to provide a synopsis of what's going on but uh, why not give it a try before you post that response ask yourself can this video stand on its own would a complete stranger be able to understand what it's about if not maybe what's there actually belongs in the comments section but don't feel obliged to stop on account of me or on account of any other complete strangers you know if you're having fun do it I don't care I can always just turn off turn it off go to something else but you know someone who might become a subscriber or at least return to see your videos might not because the first exposure that they had to you was incomprehensible and one last thing I hope you'll take some time out from drama to enter the Fair Share Olympics I, I put the link in the description box See, instead of just pawning each other, you can pawn billion dollar corporations or the sleazy ass Koch brothers or slimy politicians, even the churches, because their tax exempt status makes them fair game. You're probably never going to change each other's minds. So take a minute. Try to change America. Thanks for listening.